Hey everybody, Dan Olson from Hog Wild Barbecue. Today what we're going to do is a grilled stuffed portobello mushroom. So what I have so far is I have our mushroom cap. I've cut out the stem, chopped that up, put it into the pan already. The brown ridges that go all the way around, I took, just took a spoon in, carved it out, pitched it. We don't need that. The other ingredients, I have three strips of bacon chopped up about two tablespoons of sausage. We're gonna put those into the pan, let them you know, brown, and then once the fat is rendered from that, we're gonna go ahead and grab this handful of spinach and put it in on top. Once that's all cooked down, we also have about three tablespoons of cream cheese, about two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. When that's all done, we'll put it inside of the mushroom cap then I've got a small plate of mozzarella cheese that we're going to put on top of it. And then we're gonna take it outside, put it onto the grill, let it all grill up, get happy together. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this, stick around. Okay, so we have our Iwatani burner right here. It's one of my favorite things in the world. See how fast that turns on? Go ahead, put our pan on, drop in the bacon, sausage, and the shallots. We're gonna let those cook together, and then we'll put in the other ingredients. Okay, we've got the bacon and the sausage cooking down. We're gonna go ahead and drop our spinach in. It's not gonna take very long for that to cook down at all. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and add in the cream cheese. Pop that in. Put in our parm. Let that get all happy together. On a whim, Decided to add uh, some keto breadcrumbs. I have another video, uh, video showing how to make keto bread if you want. Got about a tablespoon, maybe a tad bit less. Okay, and there is the filling for our mushroom. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. So we're just going to lightly drizzle the outside of the mushroom with some olive oil. You can see that soaks it up really, really quick. Gonna put on a little bit of salt, put on it a little bit of mushroom, pack that in. Now let's get to the stuffing. Fills it up quite nicely. Clean it up a little bit. This is what it looks like stuffed. We're gonna go ahead and put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. It's gonna make it all nice, melty, ooey, and gooey. And then let's take it out to the grill. We got the grill fired up to about 350 degrees. I've got these two side burners going. We're gonna go ahead and set it down on this side of the grill. We're gonna let this grill for about 15 minutes. Then I'll bring you back and show you what the finished product looks like. Okay guys, this is what it looks like. After about 15 minutes grilling it, added a little bit of green onions just for color. Now comes the test to find out if this was a success or not. That's really good. You got the big, thick, meaty uh, mushroom that's in there. You got all of the cheese, the spinach, bacon. How can you go wrong? A little bit of sausage that's cooked up. 
that's a meal right there. Obviously, this is friendly if you're doing keto or anything along those lines. Uh, try it out. Give it a run. Leave a comment down in the bottom. Let me know what you think or what else other kind of videos that you'd like to see. Also, please push the subscribe button. It's down at the bottom. It helps the channels grow. So until next time, I'm Dan Olson, and I'm wishing you a good day and good barbecue.